Math 31, welcome to example three. So it says list the first five terms of the geometric sequence with a sub one being 18 and r being one third. All right, so I hear geometric and I think r. I hear sequence and I think list. So I'm gonna make a list of numbers. They want the first five terms. They gave me the first one and they're saying basically to get from one term to each of the successive terms, multiply by one third. That's what the common ratio is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just work this from my calculator just off to the side here, and then I'm gonna go through that geometric sequence formula. So we're gonna to come to the answer in two different ways. So here's the first way. I'm just gonna do this quick and dirty. So a sub one would be 18. All right, and this is how we could do this on our calculators. Again, quick and dirty. So we would sit here and say 18 times one third. Oops, except you would type in the three. There we go. 18 times one third. So you would tell me then that a sub two was six, right? And then a sub three, take that number and multiply by one third. And I would get two. All right. And then a sub four. Let's see. If I do two times one third, I get well, 0.667 as a fraction is two thirds. And then again, if I multiply this number by one third, I would get 0.222, which is two ninths. And there's the first five terms in my sequence. And I just wanna say it right, multiplying by one third is the same thing as dividing by three. So this is like saying I'm going to divide by three, and that's what we have. 18 divided by three is six. Six divided by three is two. Two divided by three is literally the fraction two divided by three, two thirds. If I divide by three again, I'm at two ninths. So multiplying by one third, just the same thing as dividing by three. That doesn't look like an equivalent sign here. It's equivalent to dividing by three. All right, now I wanna show you how you can use the explicit formula for the nth term of a geometric sequence, just so we can practice working it. All right, so you know a sub n is equal to a sub one times r to the n minus one. So let's regenerate this list using this explicit formula. All right, I happen to already know a sub one, so we'll just say I found that, and I wanna show you how I would get a sub two. So a sub two, would be equal, if I'm running this, this would be a sub one times r, which is one third, to the two minus one. So in this case, that would be 18 times one third to the first power, which is like saying 18 times one third, which is equal to six. Okay, so I get six again, great. All right, let's try this now for a sub three. So a sub three is equal, now n is three this time, right? So we got a sub one times one third, and instead of n minus one, I'm gonna write three minus one. So that would be 18 times one third squared. All right, so playing this out, we'd have 18, one third times one third is one ninth. 18 divided by nine is two. Okay, that's matching what we had here. But I want you to see explicit formula being used, and that's matching what we did when we just worked it straight off of our calculator. Let's try a sub four. a sub four would be your first term times one third to the four minus one. That's like saying 18 times one third cubed. All right, well that's like saying 18 one third times one third times one third. The numerator would be one times one times one. The denominator would be three times three times three, which is 27. Well, if we take a look at our fraction, or let's use our calculator, 18 divided by 27, sure enough, it is two thirds. Okay, that also checks out. Let's try a sub five. All right, so if I'm gonna go with a sub five here, we're gonna go a sub one times one third, now n is five to the five minus one. That is 18 times one third to the fourth, which would be 18 times, all right, one to the fourth is one, 
3 to the 4th is 81. Let's see what 18 divided by 81 is. Sure enough, it is 2 ninths. All right, so this checks out as well. So ultimately, the first five terms of our sequence are 18, 6, 2, 2 thirds, and then 2 ninths. That is our geometric sequence, and our common ratio is multiplying by 1 third because you can see I'm really dividing by 3 to get from one term to the next term. Okay? So we're going to keep on manipulating this formula. We're going to practice this for a few more examples, and then we'll move to the recursive version. All right, I'll see you in a few. Bye.